In this lecture, we are going to be working on the navigation menu, which we have already extracted to our edas.php file. So basically, we still have the template that we copied from Bootstrap. And the only thing that I changed here previously was just to include a link to the index page. What we want to do here is basically when a user is logged in, we want to display certain menus. And when a user is not logged in, we want to display another set of menu. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. First thing, I'm going to change the project name to user authentication and put a link to the own page. So next, if you remember, we're also doing the same check on the own page. If a user is not logged in, we are just displaying you are currently not signed in. So when the user is logged in, we are displaying the name of the user and a logout link. So I'll grab this code from the own page and quickly uh, paste it beneath here. All right. So here we're checking, we're going to check if the user is actually logged in. So if a section of username is set, we are going to display some set of menus. So remove this and just pick this. So the menus, this we're going to be uh, my profile. And uh, this for now, we just leave it as this. And next we're going to display a link to logout. So this would be logout.php. All right, so if the user is not logged in, then we're just going to display the menus that were there before. So this is, take this and put here. Okay, so this is going to be about us, contact us. Then we're going to add two more menus. One is going to be for sign in and the other is going to be for register. So this will be login to link to our login.php and this is going to be for sign up and this will lead to our sign up.php refresh our menu is nicely set up let's log in and see so once we log in we see that the menu has actually changed to my profile and also the logout button is here so next we are going to actually style our messaging. So for now, if we observe, let's go back here and click on sign up. We we'll see that the way the message is currently being displayed. So what I want to do here is to actually use Bootstrap to improve our messaging. And this is going to be super easy because we're using uh, custom functions, if you remember. So we'll go to our resource folder. So we're using this custom function to handle messaging in our application and we're actually checking for pass or fail message. The only thing that we actually need to do here is just give this a bootstrap class. Class, we're going to say this should be alert and this should be a class of alert success. We're going to do the same for this. We're going to call this div class alert. And this is going to be a lot danger. Okay. If we go over to our page and do a refresh, as you can see, the message dev is actually extending and filling the form part. So what we need to do is to use one of the bootstrap classes to clear the paddings. Go over to our login page. So we're displaying the message here. We could actually wrap this within a div, so wrap this within a div. Okay, so after the div, we just do put another div here and give it a class of clefis. I think they should resolve that for us. So go back and refresh. All right, so uh, we have our message being uh, styled correctly now. So we're going to just copy this and put in all the pages. So copy this. Go back to our sign up, put this here. So we we'll go back to our forgot password page and also include this here. Okay, forgot password, click on this, our message is displayed correctly. Sign up page, click on this, our message is being uh, styled properly. 
In our next lecture, I'm going to show you how to use JavaScript to determine which is the active menu and I like that menu automatically. Like now you see, if I click on login, the home button is still being highlighted here. So next lecture, I'm going to show you how we can achieve this using JavaScript.